those of y'all who also either went to college in a STEM major or are in college and ever had to take OCHEM, do you remember when we would get names like diethylamino hydroxybenzoyl hexyl benzoate and then we would have to come up with the organic structure of that molecule, <laughs> like in organic nomenclature? Wow, that really brought some stuff back for me. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And today I have a Yes Style haul and it's going to be a try-on haul. So I primarily placed an order on Yes Style to get some Korean sunscreens. Let me first show you what I got. So this isn't like a huge haul. Um, I think it was like $59 for minimum shipping. So I got two Korean sunscreens, one pair of cute earrings and two tops. I will show the tops and the try-ons of those last and I'll first start with the sunscreens. If you end up liking this video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out. And if this is your first time seeing me and I charm you enough with my personality, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. Now let's get into the products. The first sunscreen that I wanted to try and first added to my cart is the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen SPF 50 PA++++. And at the time that I bought this, it cost $12.76 for two ounces of product. On Yes Style, the prices fluctuate a little bit, so I can't promise that it's the same price now, but I will link it in my description box. So this Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen is a water-based sunscreen formulated with centella extracts and mild ingredients to help reduce skin stressors, which protects against UV rays and harmful environments without stickiness nor white residue left on the skin. It does not contain any essential oils or artificial fragrance. So if your skin is sensitive to fragrances, this is a great option. Korean sunscreens are superior to American sunscreens. It's not just because I'm Korean, okay? Like, I feel like it's a pretty commonly accepted <laughs> statement, but the chemical filters in this are not the typical oxybenzone, avobenzone, octanoxate that we see in the United States. The chemical filters in a lot of Korean sunscreens, and including this one, include firstly, diethylamino hydroxybenzoyl hexyl benzoate, and secondly, ethyl hexyl triazone. The texture of this is like a moisturizer, I would say. It is quite moisturizing. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It glides on very smoothly and doesn't have like the thickness that a lot of sunscreens have. If you do have more oily skin, I think that you could actually sub this for a moisturizer. Typically, I still wear like a lightweight gel moisturizer underneath it, but I do still get kind of oily <laughs> in later in the afternoon when I wear this. This is a texture that is pretty standard, I think, among Korean sunscreens. So this is a great one to start out with. It's fairly inexpensive. You can find it on Amazon as well. You don't have to order it from YesStyle. So this is, I think, one of the most popular Korean sunscreens in America. The second sunscreen is one that I like even more than the Purito one, and I do really enjoy the Purito one. This is the Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence. And this bottle is quite a lot larger than the Purito one because this one contains two ounces and this one contains 2.7 ounces. And the price for this was $23. So it does cost more, <laughs> uh, even per ounce it costs more. This has SPF 50, P8++++, and it has the same chemical filters that the Purito one has. I'll say them again because why not? It is diethylamino hydroxybenzoyl hexyl benzoate and ethyl hexyl triazone. The description of this sunscreen is a soft, weightless, invisible daily sunscreen that guards against UVA, UVB without leaving greasiness or white finish. So it pretty much sounds like the same description as the Purito one, but this one is named the Soft Airy UV Essence, and this is one of the most aptly named products that I've ever seen. It really is super lightweight. It's like almost, it really is like airy and fluffy. And when I rub this on, one thing I notice is that it feels very like cooling and refreshing, almost like splashing water. I'm not saying that Purito is not an enjoyable experience, but I do prefer the Dear Claire's one for like warmer days and more humid days, which is pretty much every single day in Houston all year round, except for like January. <laughs> I'm looking at the bottles for these two sunscreens now and the Purito one says that it is calming and moisturizing, whereas the Claire's one says it has a water-based gel texture. So that does explain the difference in the textures. 
if I were to repurchase one, I would actually repurchase the Dear Claire's one over the Purita one. I don't know if I will ever repurchase this one because I typically, after I try a few things and I like what I like, I just buy the best. Like, why would I buy second best, you know? I do need to note that the Dear Claire's sunscreen has fragrance in it. The last ingredient on the box is orange oil. I also see Anthemis nobilis flower oil and citrus junos fruit extract. So this does have a very subtle fragrance to it, but like it's like very slightly, slightly citrusy. Like if I were to smell like a LaCroix, which is already like someone yelling the name of a fruit from another room. So it's it doesn't bother me, even though it is something that I leave on my skin. So going forward, I'll show you first my earrings and then my the clothes that I picked out. So the earrings are actually the ones I'm wearing now. This is the rhinestone moon and star drop earrings. And at the time that I purchased this, they were on like sale. Like, so they're really marked down and I got them for $2 and 38 cents. So they just come in this little package, but they're not in here obviously. And these are just the cutest little earrings. They remind me so much of Sailor Moon stars, like the Moon Scepter. And besides the whole Sailor Moon thing, I actually bought this because it has a little bit of sentimental, like emotional meaning to me. I tell my boyfriend that he's my sunshine because he brings light to my life. <laughs> it makes me feel happier and like I can get through each day a little easier. And he calls me his moon and stars. I know that's very reminiscent of Game of Thrones, Drogo and Daenerys, but I don't know, it's cute. And I just am reminded of that every time I wear these earrings. Now for the clothes. So the first top I'm gonna show you tried on is this short sleeve kind of keyhole shirt. And the description of this is a short sleeve perforated cropped cardigan. So this is cropped. That's about the length. It hits right above my belly button. And I really like this. It's not thick, so it doesn't get hot, even though it's a cardigan, like almost sweater material. It's just very thin and lightweight and comfortable and something that I can see like throwing on whenever I need to leave for anything and still look cute. Like if I go out, oh man, going out. Just kidding, not that. Going forward, I will wear it to film and I will wear it to the grocery store. That's pretty much all. I had purchased this for $10.58, by the way, which I think is awesome. This is feels like really good quality and the design doesn't have any like mistakes in it or any weird stitching or it doesn't lay weird on my body. I actually really, really am happy that I got this. This only comes in one size, by the way, and I can see how it would fit a lot of people because typically crop tops, you have more flexibility in sizing because it, it can hit people in different lengths. So yeah, this is one size and that's how one size fit me. The second top I got is a v-neck blouse in white and I actually got this in the size medium. I purchased this shirt in white. It comes in a lot of different shades. It comes in like a pink, a green, a blue, but I picked white because it's the most versatile and I did get this to wear as business attire because in clinic I will often wear like slacks and a blouse with my white coat. But also what I was thinking of when I got this was my interviews for residency this year. I had purchased it for $12.58, which really isn't bad for a like clean white blouse. In the try-on, um, there were a couple things about this shirt. I know that I have strong, large arms for a Korean girl, I guess, like in terms of how Korean clothing companies and designs are made. So um, yeah, the arms are a little bit tight on this blouse. Maybe I could have gotten a large, but like my actual like body and waist and torso is fairly small. So it's just the arms. I suspected that this might happen. Otherwise, I like how this blouse really fits on my body. I showed you how it is untucked and then I also just tucked the front into my high-waisted shorts. Another thing about the sleeves, when I button um, the end of the sleeve, the stitching it doesn't lay down like completely flat or elegantly. It could also be like this because it is a little bit tight around my large arms. <laughs> so when I do button this, you can kind of see like stretching of the stitching and then it was not made to like overlap very well. Still, I'm happy to have this and I will make use of it in my interview. I'm just gonna be sitting still in my chair anyway. So it's not like I'll have to be doing physical exams or like doing a bunch of movements. Honestly, through this whole pandemic and staying at home and 
not weightlifting as much as I used to. My arms might atrophy a little bit. They might get smaller, who knows? And then sometime in the future, this may fit me better. That is my haul. I've got five items and I am at least very, very happy to have four of those items in my life. That last shirt is like a little bit iffy. I, I feel like I could have also gotten a white blouse somewhere else, but I was placing this order anyway and it was fairly affordable. So I threw it in the cart so I could get the shipping and I'm gonna use it. So the sunscreen, Purito, Centella Green Level Unscented Sun, as well as the Dear Claire Soft Air UV Essence. I love both of these and I will definitely repurchase the Dear Claire's one and I'm likely to repurchase the Purito one sometime in the future. Maybe not immediately though. These earrings I love. Y'all have seen these earrings before in a couple of other videos. I know I was wearing it in my um, giveaway where I was giving away a couple of the ColourPop Pretty Guardian eyeshadow palettes that they did in collaboration with Sailor Moon. Oh, this ear cuff, by the way, this little one. Can you all guess where that's from? It's Anna Luisa. Someone needs to hold me back from buying more of their jewelry. <laughs> Short perforated cardigan, I love. And this white v-neck blouse is usable. That's all I have for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching and for spending your time with me as always. Remember that y'all are my treasure. Find the beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourself. I'll see you in my next videos. Bye.